Hey, what's up everybody? This is Osama here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a dashboard just like this, where you can track visitor data for your funnels or websites and go high level. So as you can see in this picture, we're able to track the views, the opt-ins, and we're also able to see what are the top performing funnels or websites right away. And you can do this very easily in a few clicks in your go high level dashboard. And this will help you identify your top performing funnels and websites based on opt-ins, views, or conversions. So let's jump into our Go High Level Sub account and see how we can track visitor data right inside our dashboard. All right, so I'm in my Go High Level Sub account, and as you can see, this is the same exact dashboard that I showed in the start of the video. So we're going to start a new one, and we'll try to replicate this. So I'm going to click on Add Dashboard here. Now, Go High Level gives you some options where you can start from blank, or you can also choose from a template library, or you can clone the existing one. So if you select the template library, there's a lot of options here. And you can browse categories depending on what you need here. For now, I'm just going to choose the blank option as I want to show you the visitor data only. And we can call it demo2. And this is private for now. Once it pops up, we're going to click on add widget. And then on the right, you will see we have visitor data option. So if you unlock that, you will see there's a lot of options here. So number one, we have total funnel views. And then we have unique funnel views. So based on what you want to see, I usually like to see the unique funnel views. So I'll just click on that. And then you can see we have the metric as count. And if you want to track page views, you can select that or you can do opt-in. So the first one we'll do is page views only. And then under advanced settings, we can customize the date range. I do not want to override it because we have a global setting for the date range. So I want that our dashboard changes dynamically based on the dates that I give in that input. So we'll not change that for that reason. We can also add in a comparison if you want with the previous 31 days or a year before, if that helps you. For now, I'm just going to leave this as it is. And then I'll scroll up a little bit. And then under conditions, we have some more exciting options where we can go into some specifics. So we can choose that we want to track either a funnel or a website. So let's say I want to track a funnel. I can filter it down by selecting a funnel from here. So I can select this funnel. And then under visitor scope, we can choose if it is tracking unique views or all. So as we chose this unique option in the start, I think it makes sense to track it. So as I'm only running ads to this funnel right now, I'll just keep that selected and then we'll go ahead and click on save. And our first element will be added here. So we have 616 views or unique funnel views as of now. So I'll just drag this a little bit and then I'll just cross this out. Now the second element I wanna add is for the opt-in. So I'll click on add widget here again, then click on visitor data. And if you scroll down, we'll find out total opt-in. So we'll click on that and then we'll click on conditions here. So we already have the funnel selected here. If you want to select a custom funnel, we can do that here. And then the visitor scope, let's do unique as I only want to track unique opt-ins. And then on the top, you can also choose a chart type. So if you want to do a specific one, like a line or a bar, so you can track it over time, you can do that too. I'll just choose the numeric one for now. We'll go ahead and click on save. And now we have this edit as well. So now we have views and then opt-ins, then we can also show appointment just to see a comparison of how it is spanning down to the last step. So we'll click on add widget here again. I'll keep the numeric option here. And then under appointment, I will do appointment count. And then under conditions, you can choose to add conditions if you want. For now, I'll delete this. And under configure, I'm just gonna click on save here. So I can see the total number of appointments. And then we will add in our last element on the numeric side. So chart type will be numeric. I'll head over to appointments again, and then I'll select the appointment count here again. But this time around, we're going to add a condition. So the condition will be, I want to track the confirmed appointments. If you want to track no shows, showed, invalid, that's up to you. I'll select confirmed here right now and then click on save. And now we can see the appointment count here. So you'll see that the titles do not reflect the most accurate thing because this is a generic title. Of course, you can change it. So I'll say here, total confirmed appointments and hit save. And for this one as well, we can say total appointments, and then we can just readjust these if we need. So now we can see a full view. So we start with the unique funnel views, which are the highest, of course. Then we have 71 opt-ins, which reflect to 30 appointments. And out of those 30, we have 22 confirmed appointments. So you can actually see the data flowing from your top of the funnel to the bottom of the funnel. And this basically shows you the whole customer journey. And now if you want to add some more exciting stuff like comparisons or see our top performing funnels, we can also do that. So we click on add widget here, and then we'll head over to visitor data. 
And if we scroll down, you can see we have funnel, we use trend. So if I select that, and you can of course customize the metrics or do a breakdown by daily or weekly. I'll keep daily for now as I want to see how it varies daily. And then under conditions, I'm going to add my specific funnel here. And for the visitor scope, I'll do unique and then click on save. Once this is done, so I'll just drag it till this point and now you can see the funnel views trend over different dates in this month. So this is pretty exciting because it gives you the exact representation of how it is wearing on daily basis. Once it is added, we can add in some more options. So we can click on add widget here again and then under visitor data, this time around, I'm actually going to choose the top funnel by unique view. So of course you can use the website option as well. Wherever we have the funnel option, there will be a website option too. So it depends on your use case as I'm running ads to my funnel. So that's why I'm preferring that option everywhere here. So I'll select the top funnel by unique views. So if we save this, this is actually what it looks like. As you can see, if you have multiple funnels here, you will be able to see multiple data and then you can do a comparison based on that. And you can also do one for opt-ins. So if I add this one here again, and I do top funnel by unique views, we can do opt-ins this time. And when I click on save, now it will be doing a comparison based on the opt-ins and you can change that here, if that makes sense. And you can also change the chart type just to better reflect data and click on save and now it will change. So of course, I only have one funnel here right now where I'm running ads to, but if you have more, then you can do a comparison very easily. And the best part is you do not have to run around in go high level and you know run reports. It will always be at the top in the dashboard. You can easily see all this data. Once you're happy with these settings, you can click on save here. And once this dashboard is ready, you can do custom date ranges and based on the date ranges, you can see data right away. So this will be really helpful for you or even if you run services for your clients, your clients will be able to see all these details very easily and they're going to love it absolutely. So that was all about this video. If you have any questions, please mention them below and we'll get back to you.